Pat, what do you think led to uh, the Pacers snapping your guys' streak tonight? I think the slow start in the first quarter, um, and then the slow start in the third quarter. I mean, both of those, you know, gave them life, gave them life early in the first quarter, and then we're up at six at halftime and come out and give them life in the, in the third quarter. So um, they took advantage of those moments, um, and then you know, from there they got confidence. You guys know what Old Depot is capable of, but what did he get going in the third quarter in particular? I thought he made some shots off the dribble. Um, and then, you know, some threes off the dribble, and then that kind of opened up his drive because then he had to get closer to him. He got into the paint, you know, he got some foul calls, and, I mean, he just had it going. And, um, um, like I told you before the game, he's playing well. They came in uh, second in the league in three-point percentage. Um, you feel like they were just, this is a night where they made shots? Um, um, I thought, you know, like I said, the game plan to go under on Corey Joseph, he made a couple. Um, Lance made one or two. Um, the one that made at the end of the shot clock, you know, so those you gotta, you know, you can you can live with. But you know, Old Depot was six for thirteen from three too, so some was off a of dribble. Um, but you know, overall, it's gotta see the film. Outside of how it helped your place in the standings, what did this streak do for you guys as a team? No, I mean, just you know, showed that we're capable of playing Cavaliers basketball. Um, got a very confident unit, and um, you know, tonight, you know, like I said, we, we talked about in the locker room was to start another streak, so it was a good streak. Um, came in, we got beat, so now it's time to start a new one. Hey, it's been a while since we've seen you guys struggle offensively, especially down the stretch. Just six field goals in the fourth. Do you feel like you guys had a flow at all offensively tonight? Um, not really a good flow. I thought, um, you know, we had to play small a lot because of the switching we did in the fourth quarter, which, you know, slowed them down offensively. But, you know, then us offensively, we struggled. So um, it's kind of pick your poison. We had to get stops, in which we did. But then also we struggled to score when that happened. So. Just gotta kind of pick your poison. It's rare to see you guys a 24-second shot clock violation, let alone two in the start of the fourth quarter. You think that was the, the lineup, maybe not having the total familiarity together? Or no, one time was unexcusable. I mean, we came out of timeout, and you know, just wasn't in the right place, in the right spot. So the other one I can't quite remember. Talking about going small, is that why you think you had problems rebounding in the second half? They seem to really control the glass. Um, that could be part of it because we're switching with Jeff and switching with LeBron. And uh, we did a better job on, you know, on Depot with, you know, by doing that. But when we missed shots, you know, with Sabonis and Thad and those guys inside, they hurt us on the glass a little bit. But like I said, you got to, you know, pick your poison, you know, to get stops. And, you know, and um, they did a good job of trying to attack our, attack our bigs. You went with Calderon for 22 minutes tonight. It looked like he gave you, gave you quite a bit. Um, what led to you staying with him longer in the second quarter than you normally do? Just the floor of the game. 